land ho, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Drew, and that's Bethany. Today we woke up and decided to take a romantic gondola ride down the Venice canals. Except we're nowhere near Italy, and this isn't even a gondola, it's an inflatable kayak. But there are a few romantic canals right here in Venice, California. But where there were once dozens of canals, not only a handful remain. What happened to these residential waterways? Find out as we explore, somewhat unsuccessfully perhaps, the Venice canals, right here on Oddity Odysseys. <laughs> It's just a smart car, it would have bounced right off. I hate those things. The Venice Canals, which is supposed to be a lovely walkway in Venice Beach with some bridges and some peace and quiet and things like that. But they are somewhat elusive unless you know exactly how to reach them. From Washington Boulevard, just north of Marina Del Rey, we'll turn north onto Dell Avenue, and a few blocks up, we should start seeing some canals. It looks like the first bridge is right in front of us here. Ooh, welcome to the Venice Canal. Oh those my goodness. Are pretty. <laughs> I like those. Oh, that's nice. cool. I think this is definitely a situation where we need to ditch the car and get out. Oh, there's another one. This is really cool. It is nice that they're all one way. Yeah, so they can be a little narrower that way. So in this whole area, there is but one street that goes through that allows for car traffic, and that's Dell. It's one lane, so you have to start at the south end and go north. Single file, all the way through here. I like how no two bridges seem to be quite the same. There are some different designs. So Venice of America was founded by Abbott Kenny, uh -huh. I believe in 1905, and it was intended to kind of mirror the atmosphere of Venice, Italy. Now I've been to Venice, Italy, and it's not quite the same, <laughs> but it's kind of cool that there's a bit of a gondola boat navigating system right here in Los Angeles. Yeah, you kind of get a little bit of the flavor. You do, and you get that nice kind of tranquility, that peacefulness. Yeah. No traffic, no bike traffic, no car traffic. Can you imagine just being a neighbor and saying, hey, you want to come over to play cards? And just and then, getting in your boat and just paddling down yeah. that way. Well, today we're not going to have to imagine. Very impressive. So, how much fun are we having right now? <laughs> Honestly, it'll be more fun once we're actually on the water. All right. Okay. I don't know if we're far enough in the water. I'm gonna be stranded in the ocean by myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're floating. We're free. We're free. <laughs> we're free forever and ever. This really is the best way to experience the canals. You said it, inflatable kayak. Yeah, that's what I meant. Are we having a romantic time yet? Not quite the same as when I was in a gondola in Venice, Italy. Not quite the same? Where are we going? We're crashing. <laughs> back paddle, back paddle. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know either. <laughs> we're fighting against the wind. Yes, we are. All these people are like, what are these idiots doing down there? <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing. Inflatable kayak. <laughs> Well, now we're under a couple of concrete bridges here. Yep, this is Venice Avenue going over us. The, uh, the eastbound lanes. Ooh, looks like there's some interesting little gated entryways here that I wish we could explore, but yeah. alas, we're in a romantic kayak. Well, this looks, uh, yep, this is about as far north as we can go, and it looks like it's a dead end over here. <laughs> yep, uh, today perhaps, but 100 years ago, this actually went through, went further to the north and connected to an entirely new set of canals. Kinney's Venice of America originally consisted of seven additional canals, totaling two miles in length. Grand Canal was the widest and culminated in a picturesque lagoon. The remaining canals branched off from there. Soon after their completion in 1905, the present-day canals were constructed as an expansion off of Kinney's original vision. The canals were complete with gondolas and gondoliers brought over from Italy who would offer serenaded tours to visitors. In addition, a miniature railway once encircled the neighborhood, and there was even a twin-track racing roller coaster next to the lagoon called Race Through the Clouds. For a time, Venice perhaps did evoke a similar charm to its namesake, but unfortunately, most of Kinney's creation was short-lived. By the end of 1929, the original canals had been filled in and paved over to make way for the growing popularity of the automobile. 
The lagoon is now buried beneath the windward traffic circle, and most of the remnants of the original seven canals have been lost to history. But a few reminders still remain, like this one. This is a replica of one of the original gondolas that was used in the canals. Oh, interesting. It sits here adjacent to the windward traffic circle, which is right over there. Right. One of the few reminders that remains of the waterways that existed where we're now standing. A lot bigger than our kayak. Yeah, definitely. By 1940, the remaining canals had fallen into severe disrepair and were in dire need of a facelift. Thanks to a restoration project from 1991 to 1993, the canals were drained, dredged, and deepened. New sidewalks and reinforced riverbanks were also put in, transforming the Venice Canal system into a beautiful haven for people and nature alike. Well, Venice of America may not still hold the same grandeur that it once did, but fortunately, a little bit of that ambiance can still be found right here. So the next time you're in the Venice area, be sure to stop by these historic canals for a stroll. Or a float, if they happen to have an inflatable gondola like ours. It's a kayak. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Oddity Odysseys. Take us ashore. Is that a free little library? Oh, you mean, oh my God, it is. All right, we gotta get this. We found us a little free library on the water. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh God. That tarp is on the front to protect us from people like you who cannot drive a boat. Look at that, so you, 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 ran, us, you ran us aground again. This is my first time, okay. I like that you're doing all the paddling. <laughs>